All right, welcome back, everyone, and let's just get started right away here. A little warm-up for your brain here. The Jones family drove 675 kilometers in eight hours. They drove the same distance each hour. Magically, every hour, they only, you know, oop, went four kilometers or whatever it is. I'd like you to estimate to find out about, about how far, about, not exact, but about how far the family drove in one hour. So even guess today, we're going to do something called estimating uh, with division. And we're going to say this word quotient a lot. And as a reminder, quotient is the answer when you divide. So we're going to look at some strategies that we can use to estimate quotients. And we're going to look at two. And you've heard of them before, um, but you'll see how it goes. So let's say a group of nine people won a raffle contest of $873. About how much will each person get? So we're going to estimate $873 divided by nine. We're going to use something compa uh, called compatible numbers. And we've talked about compatible numbers with multiplication, but we can do the same thing for division. And please remember, compatible means we're looking for numbers that are close that work really well. So a compatible number we can use is 873. We can, it's, it's close to 900 and 900 will be a really easy number to work with with um, nine. So we can do 900 divided by nine and that equals 100. And we got to think this way in, in reverse terms, nine times something equals 900. And from our work with multiples of 10 in la, a few la, uh, videos ago, we learned that nine, you know, nine times one is nine, add the two zeros. And there we go. So the answer there is not, uh, about a hundred, about a hundred dollars. Now. This is an overestimate because 900 is greater than 873. So it will be lower than that, but not much lower. So they'll get a little bit less than $100 in reality. Okay, here's another problem. There's 258 apples. They're gonna make, um, some people are making fruit baskets and they want each fruit basket to have four apples. About how many fruit baskets can be made? And we're gonna use something called front end rounding this time. We've visited this before and that's looking at the first digit here or the first couple digits and so we're going to estimate 258 divided by four and that will tell us how many baskets uh, about can be made well front end rounding we look at the first digit and we can do change that to 200 so we could do 200 divided by four well if we can do 20 divided by four equals five uh, I've bolded it here, I don't know if you noticed, but 20 divided by 4 is 50. So here I got 20 divided by 4 is 5. But remember, there's that extra 0 when we're doing multiplication. Or in other words, 4 times what equals 200? 4 times 5 is 20. If we need an extra 0, we add a 0 there. So 4 um, times 50 is 200, so 200 divided by 4 is 50. Well, that will work, but that really is a really low estimate because all front end rounding is an underestimate, if you remember from our previous video. And it's significantly lower because this is 258. We're going down 58 apples. That's a lot of apples. So this um, this isn't always the most effective way to divide. I mean, it's a bout answer, but it's going to be a really, really underestimate. So we can look at the first two digits of the dividend, and the dividend is the f is the number that is at the front here. So 258 is the dividend here. Well, what if we looked at the first two digits? Well, the first two digits um, are 25. So and we're divided by, by four. Is there anything we can think of about 25 that's close to something that divides evenly by four? And what I thought of is 24. And if we can do 25 divided by four equals six, now that the answer is not gonna be six because we had 200, before, you know, 50 before. Um, if we add a zero here for 240, we'll change that to a 240. That means this will become a 60. And so 240 divided by 4 is 60. That is a lot more accurate. We've only gone down 18 apples rather than 58. I mean, it's still an underestimate, but about 60 fruit baskets could be made from those apples. 
I'm going to get you to try. Uh, I'd like you to use something called compatible numbers, like we just looked at, or front end rounding. You choose. And we're going to talk about toonies here. Now, one toonie is about three centimeters wide. And if you don't, if you're one of our American or international viewers, uh, a toonie is in Canada is our $2 coin. Um, it's really complicated and ridiculous how it got that name toonie. I won't go into it. You can look it up. But let just so you know, uh, a toonie is a $2 coin. And it's, uh, it's about three centimeters wide. So from about from here to here is three centimeters. And if you're American, you have no idea what to talk about centimeters. Um, let's say an, an inch or so. Toonies are placed in 300 in a row of 378 centimeters long. Well, about how many toonies are in each in the row? And what is the approximate value of the toonie? Like how much money are we talking here? So there's kind of two parts to this question. About how many toonies could fit in a row of 378 centimeters? And what is the approximate value? How much money would that be? So you need to answer the first one before you can answer the second one. So I'm going to get a pause it here and come back when you are ready. Okay, so we could talk about compatible numbers. Now, what can we change 378 to divide by um, 3? Well, I mean, if I know, well, 360 would kind of work really well. That's a compatible number. Um, can divide by 3. So 360 divided by 3. Uh, I could think of it this way, 3 times something equals 360, or better yet, ignore the zero, 3 times something equals 36, well I know that 3 times 12 equals, it's an ugly 12, sorry, 36, and all I need to do is add that, um, that zero. So we could say that 360 divided by 3 is 120. It's about 120 in a row. Now, if we look at front end rounding, however, we're looking at 300. We're going to change that to 300, and that would be about 100 in each row. Now, let's talk about the approximate value. 120 times 2, and we're doing times 2 because it's $2. 12 times 2 is 24. And I add the zero, so it's about $240 from this compatible numbers way. But if I do front end rounding, I'm just multiplying 100 by 2, and that equals $200. So that's a difference of $40. So the compatible number worked a little bit better than the front end rounding. So remember that front end rounding is always going to be an underestimate. Compatible numbers could be an underestimate or overestimate, depending on where you go with it. But um, compatible numbers here seem to have worked better. But you know, there's times that it will work fine with front end rounding. All right, last problem. Five hippos eat a total mass of 620 kilograms of food in one day. About how much food does one hippo eat? You need to pause that and come back when you're ready. Okay, so we're going to have the 620 here, and we're going to divide by 5. So now you could find an exact answer to that because it ends in a 0. So we're not going to do that, though. Um, the compatible number that works is also the same as the front end rounding, and that happens to be probably 600. So we're looking at the front digit for front end rounding. But uh, I know that... 60 divided by 5 equals 12. And I can use that information to help me here. Um, or in other words, um, 5 times something, 12, equals 60. And so with that information, I can add um, I can add my 0 there, which equals my 0 there. So 600 divided by 5 is 120. So uh, one hippo eats about 120 kilograms in one day. 
Now that is like two, the equivalent of two uh, like adult males or one adult male. Uh, I made this up. I don't even know if it's true. Um, so don't quote any facts from these videos about how much a hippo eats. I just picked some numbers. So um, we looked at how we can use estimating to divide numbers like we did with multiplication. And if you haven't guessed in the next video, we're going to go to exact numbers with division. So please remember in life, math happens. Take care. Thank you.